hey guys you see this thing that say a fool at 40 is a fool forever it's true guys fun fact personal story hey guys welcome back to my channel guys today i'm talking turning 40 living in nigeria and the legacy question guys today i'm having what i call my diary session really because guys um life is for the living right and one of the things that this channel is about is discussing life issues and this is where i bring my myself my life lessons that i draw on a daily basis um to bear to draw lessons for them and share them with you maybe you pick one or two things as well and you can also hold me accountable for what i say i want to do right because no time no time that's how turning 40 makes you feel guys i know if you're watching this video and you are not 40 yet you need to pay attention because this is going to happen to you at some point in your life i know that people talk about midlife crises all of those things and i used to just look at them as terms and concepts but for real guys for real i there's no lie <laughs> there's no lie anywhere you see that thing they talk about a fool at 40 is a fool forever fun fact is real guys and um, i can say so personal story guys the thing is sorry my name is chisum and if today is your first time welcome to my channel here we talk love life and chilling chilling is the part where we talk about money to you know to help us live the life and love okay so i am super excited this is more like the channel for my life i also am very very big on relationship advice for men in particular because i'm so passionate about the family and I think that nobody will have a great life, a happy life without a strong support system majorly in their family. So that's what I'm about. Welcome. This is the time to click the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up right now and continue watching. Thank you. All right. So guys, I've just been feeling, having this whole feeling of, you know, overwhelm, or, you know, if you call it like that. And it's just happening in my head, guys. <laughs> it's happening in my head and it's been consistent for since since when i turned 30 so if you didn't know that i turned 30 in 2020 5th july of 2020 of course there was still lockdown lockdown there was still the pandemic was like hey and all that so i didn't get to do like a huge celebration um but you know i danced with my family i did this that 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 so but this year i have already turned 41 and guys i'm telling you because somehow there's something there are definitely many things that turning 40 gets you to do and yet if you if somebody gets to 40 and do not think like this do not have this sudden restlessness this whole i want to put my life in order i want to make sure that i'm making a mark in my environment in my community then that person could actually be a fool because the thing just comes on you like a huge you know soldier on a marathon something like that i don't even have to explain it so guys i'm this kind of girl who grew up very very conservative um and i'm very intelligent very idea busting kind of girl like so i can give you a million and one ideas about how to do what you do better and for me that's a cultivated skill and i really do love it i've been blogging now for 13 years and i've been coaching and blogging for eight years and you know doing all of those things i'm someone who have used everything i have done to scale right so from just being a blogger i began to teach blogging then i began to organize the blogger community now when i discovered blogging was when i was marketing my copy editing business you know if you haven't watched it you know just look up here you're going to find the link to that video where i told the story okay and now i also, I'm a copy editor. That was the first business I ever started. That was the first talent I knew that I had and I, I developed. Okay, then when I started the business, I, did, I started, uh, I, started I, did, I discovered blogging because I wanted to market it. Now, when I started also talking to men in 2016 in particular, in 2012 briefly, then in 2016 fully, people thought I was crazy. And that's my way of always following in my passion, my heart. When my, what my heart is talking because I have this belief really that if an idea comes to your mind and it is because God wants you to do it to affect some people's life or God wants you to ensure that it is done so sometimes ideas will come to your head that you're feeling like 
oh my god i don't have the finance i don't know anyone how am i going to do this it looks so big what you may need to do might need to be to speak to people who you know can custodian that idea with you and make it happen because at the end of the day every idea is supposed to help one person and trust me it's usually not one person but most times you're going to find out that the fear of not doing it will overwhelm you maybe not everyone but that's how it happens for me like if i have an idea and i don't make it happen if i have an idea now that okay host a main event talking about you know how to choose the right wife for instance and how to keep away um traditional things that will hold you back your that will hold back your mindset that make you to not be a perfect husband that you should be that only you can be and then i ignore that idea i am so aware that there's a man somewhere whose destiny whose future whose family in future or now depends on that event whether i want to do it virtually or real life i must get on to do it and that was how that the kind of person i have been in the last say 13 years okay so i am that girl who is constantly creating constantly conveying constantly facilitating teaching right and apart from that in my personal life i'm somebody who have always wanted to have peace like i don't take extreme risks i don't um you know i don't don't go overboard on things i don't i cut away negative energy very fast yes i'm very good at cutting away toxic people and all that like give them the chance to heal you know outside my sphere because i'm also very very concerned with um my humanity right how i respond to things and how they affect me and in doing those i have never felt a day older than 16 guys at least in the last two years i, I feel youthful all the time i'm constantly on the go i'm constantly creating my brain is my superpower just like my husband would say like one of the i think it's a part of my life i would like to archive my brain guys and i'm serious about it it will help humanity even when i'm not here anymore <laughs> okay anyway so that's the kind of girl i've been but clocking 40 changed all that guys first of all when i clocked 39 let me even give you a backstory i used to always have had very good eyes like I can see very far and I used to tell people, oh, people say, how did you see that that far and I'm like yeah my eyes are so good like my dad and blah 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 my dad had very good eyes as well my mom was the one that when she was like 40 she already had problem with her eyes so she was using you know glasses um, lenses and all that but I always prided that oh I have my, my dad kind of eye my eye won't be bad but clocking 40 changed all that I was 39 actually when I discovered that girl if I want to read something I have to keep it away like this then bring it you know and try to like what's, what's wrong with me so i went to a doctor friend of mine an opt ophthalmologist and then got this pair of glasses in 2019 let me show you so i got my glasses you must have seen me wear them yeah even though i want something more sexy right there right so i got this pair of glasses and it's been helping me like if i don't wear these glasses i can't read the bible i can't read some books I can't read certain things, guys. It's just really frustrating because my eyes need to be good. And I'm like, what? If you watch my last video, which was a vlog with my family, you guys liked that video. Thank you for watching it. I went for another eye test in Soteria Eye Clinic. They actually offered us a free medical exam eye examination. And I was checking what's wrong with my eye is just biomyopic, like it's it's age, nothing. I don't know have any astigmatism, whatever, or short sight any longer. Just age. The fact that you are up to 40 gave me this. Nobody told me this part. Like, guys, nobody told me that when you get older and he almost hitting 40, they actually said when you get to 35, your eye, you know, begin to have those issues. And I'm like, oh my God, why? It's making me feel old. The next thing, I've always had this kind of hair. Let me show you guys my hair. So my dad had this golden hair. My, hand, my dad always had streaks of white hair. Even though he used to dye it black in his 50s, 60s and all that when he was still actively working. But after a while, he let it go and the hair is like really white. My, my dad is so remarkable today because of his hair. Like people admire him so much because of his hair. Now, I've always had one or two streaks of hair from when I was like a teenager. I noticed that I've always had a streak of hair. So I always, always used to say, oh, I have my dad's kind of hair. And all of that all of that okay so in my 30s i started having more white 
you know, speckles here and there. But guys, when I turned 39, going on 40, my hair game changed. So look at my hair. My hair is almost half white, half black. <laughs> Even if I'm exaggerating, but look at you guys. Just look at this. Just look at this. So nobody told me. I don't know whether it's still the whether it's still the wisdom hair or this is gray hair, right, guys? Ah, I love it. <laughs> I love the respect it brings. I love it. I can't wait to grow it, like you know, to have a very stylish way around it. That's another thing that 40 help it does for you because apparently I've also, also seen other friends of mine who are 40, who are just turning 40 or just 41 like me, whose white hairs are popping guys this is an announcement age for old age and it can be not scary and exciting respectful just mixed feelings something in between there right now guys i have always been wanting to do youtube and i started five years ago if you know my story look at this video i started but i wasn't very consistent i was spending a lot of money doing production right so i have better quality than theirs but i didn't take it seriously and i didn't really understand how it works how the algorithm works and all of those and, and i started this channel now i've always had the struggle of niching down remember what i told you about always being the one on the go organizing you know and all that and people know me for calling out to teach people on blogging majorly sometimes copy editing and then sometimes talking to men you know for their relationship counseling coaching and all of that now i'm facing that challenge in this in this channel like you know should my content be majorly at least 90 percent relationship advice for single men so that is giving you guys secrets about how to handle your woman you know to totally find love and all that and then, then put speckles of my life like this kind of video in between or should i make it a fully personal um channel right i'm very cautious about personal stuff because i have a lot of stories to tell i am a storyteller guy but i'm also very uh, concerned because i'm like i'm not like a celebrity nobody wants to watch me who even knows me right <laughs> so i'm like but anytime i put up something that is personal i have a lot of views yeah yeah well aside aside um you know you know commenting on trending issues and trending personalities okay and I'm just like at that point again where I want to do a lot of things on this channel. Guys, you guys should help me. It's good to have a niche. I've, I teach it myself even for blogging. It took me years for blogging before I'm able to, I was able to niche down. Even though I had obvious niches all the way. But guys, I really love, love, love doing videos. And um, this is a diary session. Remember guys, I'm just sharing with you guys what's going on with me right should i niche down and focus on the men relationship and stuff or should i have the sprinkles of my life story like this what would you like to um watch okay now also 40 makes you <laughs> decide to choose your style for instance i'm choosing to make this kind of hair i'm not there yet i don't have the cut i want yet but i want to have a signature look 40 also makes you begin to you know carry yourself a certain way carry yourself respectfully i want to be known for a certain thing another thing that has become so huge in my mind is the fact that i want to put my name on things like i want to personally finally have my academy my mentoring academy with my name on it i finally want to have my sunglasses um brand with my name on it i want to have my luxury brand brand finally i've planned it for over six years with my name on it i want to have books i have to i want to be able to publish at least one or two books every year from now on with my name on it i want to be able to raise a movement of men and women who are who are confident in themselves who enjoy life who enjoy love and who know how to make money to live the life that they want from who they are now that is so paramount in my mind and getting to 40 began to give me that kind of pressure a lot of pressure on doing these things i'm more vocal now i've always been a vocal person especially on facebook on my blogging but why i chose video was because you know people can feel me people can feel me better right and um i just was wondering i remember when i was single i, I always used to be that unbothered young woman who was just having fun impacting people but clocking 40 i made me to realize that assuming i didn't get married i got to 40 years by the way, I got married one month to my 40th birthday. Mm -hmm. If I had 
if I wasn't married till now, I think I would have been freaking out finally. I would have been that girl that have lost it. Like all those my cool, feeling cool and all that would have become very obvious that girl is out actually, actually just you know bothered right now and i have a lot of plans i wrote about you know having acted in four movies between 2014 and 2018 i wrote about it on facebook and people are like oh really yeah because i hadn't really talked about it and that's also something i want to do i want to not just be on camera i want to be on camera pretend uh, you know playing pretend you know like <laughs> i so i am really 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 conscious of what being 40 can be and these are the struggles in my head these are the things that I'm thinking about and trust me you're going to be the first to know let me know what you think about me turning 40 what i have said me trying to leave a legacy my niching down on this channel you know and all the things that you would have heard me say and the things you didn't hear me say but you can perceive i need you to advise me i need you to you know just tell me something in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and come back for regular programming soon i'm always saying regular programming everything is regular programming guys don't mind me so see you in my next video hi